If you want to be in the film industry, you be in there. But if you want to get out, you're out of there. So I'm talking to you. Make your decision now. It's computer or film. Now. <laughs> So you looking forward to this? <clears throat> I am indeed. I'm here, aren't I? You are here. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna blow up some helicopters and eat some brains and shoot people. And that's just tomorrow. That's just. <laughs> this is our uh, screenplay, guys. Right? Yeah. What you got? Your call sheets. Going to everybody. Uh, well, what time are we starting there tomorrow? Six. Six a.m. Notice the excitement in my face. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey! I'm already documenting. There you day go. One, out of day two. Yeah, no problem. Good to see you, by the way. I hope everything's been going well. So how are things going on the camera truck? Oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Six ten. We should be ready by seven ten. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Order up. Do you guys live around here? Is this like the most boring thing you've ever done? Boring thing? No, actually it's exciting for being here. You're yeah. Like There's not much to do. They made you do anything yet? Well, yeah. Sit and act like we're talking to each other and be all happy in the... Well, that's good. That's something. Yeah, that's something. Are they paying you? No. Do you see the light on the car? That's where so we I'm are. So I'm holding the plates. We just okay. parked there. Do I put okay. the plates okay. down or do I keep them in my hand because I've just seen them? You keep them in your hand. Keep them in my Again, hand. we're in a different car this time. So, so someone wants to take the first one. Open light. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Thank you. Hang on, I gotta clean this up. So what's your news report on? I, for, I forgot because the script has changed 15 times. Only that our state. <laughs> I have it memorized my <laughs> Well, you do it. Hey, honey! It's about math, amphetamines. Yeah. And how 89% of all high school students have either surveyed, survey polled, yeah. In a high school survey, 89% of the students polled have either tried or know someone who has tried this deadly drug. <laughs> he was hooked for a long time. I was. Yeah, he just got off. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, roll it. In local news, our state is now ranked number one amongst the nation's highest manufacturers of methane amphetamines. In a recent high school survey, 89% of all high school students polled said they have tried or know someone who has tried this deadly drug. In other news... I didn't even get my script until late last night. Well, they didn't write it until <laughs> you know, yesterday <laughs> afternoon. Really? Who's the, who's the director's name? The guy that he came over and said, I was like, Barry? Do I <laughs> Did you swear to me? Bob? Oh, Barry. Brian. See, you guys Brian. are bad. Brian. It was an obvious I didn't recognize him. <laughs> you looked a little different. Well, it was an obvious I didn't know who that was. Yeah, because he was the <laughs> I'm the director. He did say that, didn't he? He did. I was like, oh, this is pretty. Oh, so, you, like, so you've had him before. <laughs> but I think I did. Yeah, you look a lot better than John. Boris, you know what I was thinking? He was an actor that I've interviewed before. I swear to God, that's what I was thinking. Is that Don't you rat me out either when I leave. I'll sit Courtney on you. <laughs> His name's Brian. Is it Brian? Yes, Brian. Because I was mortified. I didn't even hear what he was saying. I was just like, who's this guy? I should know his name because he's acting like I should know his name.
is my last time I'm saying it. I need to cue May, please. On the cue, can we hear radio? Can anyone hear anything? How about a weather forecast? It looks like rain in California. But it never rains. <laughs> So are they keeping you busy today? Oh yeah. Too busy. <laughs> How long you been here? Uh, since 10. 10 o'clock? Yeah. And what have you done? Uh, just stand around and be hungover. <laughs> oh, crossing. <laughs> you could have done that at home. Smoked three bowls, you know. Doing good, doing good. Very good. Excellent work. You wouldn't know anything about the uh, meth problem around here, would you? <laughs> I hear it's pretty pervasive. You know, the high school students, they're in pretty deep. But they did a recent survey, 89% of all students polled have either tried it or know somebody who's tried a deadly drug. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's... <laughs> What's this like, guys? Ready? Are we ready? Yeah. He's, he's answer your question from that, sir. Okay, good. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And action and rehearsal. Hi. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Uh, Rosie, this here is uh, Special Agent J. Peters and Jack um, Ford. Jack Ford. How do Jack you do? Ford. JP. Are you the two from the bank? Yeah. Thank you so much for being there. How are you holding up, honey? Uh, I'm okay. It was just it was too damn close. You're gonna have. It was too damn close. Where's May? Well, she went for a walk. I thought it would be a good idea. May, May. Sorry. <laughs> right. You okay, princess? That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, it gave me. We have my statement to Ray, yeah. but it's just that, uh, that Bobby's dead. They killed him. Why did they kill Bobby? And Bobby was the uh, security <clears throat> guard at the bank. He was a good kid. He uh, he tried to help. Yeah, we grew up together. I'm sorry, we couldn't help him. Chief Bramley, Rosie's, she's your daughter. Yep, and May is my <laughs> granddaughter. Cut. Mark. Hammer set. Hammer set. And action. You seem like a nice enough prick. Well, now you can see what the hell we're dealing with here. All that manure wasn't enough to mask that smell. I think they're manufacturing an awful lot of meth up there. He's got his army protecting him. All right, we need surveillance. We need to know who his chemical suppliers are. Mostly, we need to know who the hell this guy is. I got the shot. All right, we'll get into the database. Good. Listen, there's something I need to tell you guys about Tycor and me, but right now I'm a little hungry. Let me buy you dinner, huh? Cut. 
Got it. Thank you. I was sitting over on the couch when I started crying and I had to get up and go outside. Damn. I'm sick of being yelled at. <laughs> Are you filming right now? Good. No, if basically right now I'm at the point that if you don't have anything to do with wardrobe or it's not a wardrobe question and you're not my boss, I'm not paying attention. Wow. I won't get yelled at for it. What were they yelling at you about? I was in charge of Sasha's boots. Okay. Dave from this, I just walked into the conversation not knowing anything and hollered at me and then Aaron tried to tell him she's in charge of him, she's not going over me, she's doing what she told me. Yelled at her and it got worse and Brian had to get involved and I got yelled at again because I had to give a message to a PA and oh Jesus, don't talk to a PA. <laughs> But someone told me if an actor or an actress asked you to do something for them, you do it. Because they're like God. I'm used to being in front of the camera, this behind the scenes stuff. I'm not cut out for, I'm sorry. I'm showing up and everything's done. And I just go do my little thing. I look at the schedule, but they keep changing it on me. They change the script three times. It's about secret reading it. Sure. And no one ever tells me what scenes we're shooting, and I have to go look it up. <laughs> did we do the show? Did they do the shower scene today? It's coming up. You won't be in there. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, I'll be making sure the bathroom's there <laughs> and the towels. I don't do shower scenes. I'm sorry, you got to pay me a lot. <laughs> It's been changed to a bathtub scene. It's been changed to the bathtub scene? Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Those are uh, the little shower bear ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a push up? Yeah, that looks good. The silver ones aren't. Somebody's looking for you. Hi! What'd you find there? I'm in the shower! Is this the shower scene? Yeah. How many hours do you think we're going to go today? Oh, about 25. Yeah, John, come in the door when I say come in, okay? Okay, wait a second. Here we go from the top. And I can't find uh, Tycho in any of the... Okay, we do the move. Here we go. And action. And I can't find Tycho in any of the databases. He's got all his... Properties listed with multiple corporations. I got nothing either. Okay, we got no first name in there? You expecting anybody? No. <laughs> wait, wait. Come in! Chief, we're gonna go through all the like that. No, we're gonna. You, you don't care about the li that line outside, the room service line, or not? They're, they're all over Chicago. I don't understand why they don't. Why in the hell don't they come to LA? White Castle, man. God. I can eat, I can eat ten of those. Let's send out. Yeah. <laughs>
British Invasion and all that, right? You know, six foot one, hundred thirty-eight pounds, long blonde hair. You know, I figure I should be a British League guitar player in another life. You know, you have to be what you really are inside. You know, it's like it's like people who who uh, repress latent tendencies tend to be very very unhappy in life. So I think it's only only fair to get in touch with who you really feel you are. And who is that? Nigel. Nigel. Bullshit. I don't know yet, buddy. Let me take the key first. So many keys. Did you guys just buy a bunch of vehicles at an auction? Yeah, we're, we're on a suburban. Alright, right, you guys. What? Electric. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're hopping. We're hopping in the suburban. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Jump. <laughs> He's on his last legs as it is. Is that a ridge pack? Hell, Blue. Stop. 
office sent you getting copy. dressed? Okay. What, uh, one of you, what I'd like to see is to have it across your back. All right? You know, just across your shoulder like this would be fine. I believe so. I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm ready, chap. So round, round two. two. Round two. Round two. Close the cuts. Close the cuts. Yeah, we're at the end. Right. Oh, 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 okay, we're ready. <laughs> Well, yeah, we got that there. Yes. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very good. Any questions? Okay, we're firing Fire up. up. Are you ready to stop? Okay, right. The other Thank you. They, they took our slip. Tycor's babe, you know, is given a sip of water to May and Rosie. Rosie and May have both been around, both been bound to the ceiling shackles. This is pretty cool. Um, back to back. Um, Maybell, honey, did he? Oh my God, this is just really. Is this gonna be disgusting? I hope so. Okay, I gotta project my voice. Okay, so Rosie says to Mabel, "Honey, did he touch you?" May tries to fight back the memory. Control her voice. Stop the tears. Miranda watches and gently kisses May's hair. May realizes that this is not the time to tell Rosie the truth. May says, no, no, he just talked to me. Her words sound convincing, but her face tells the truth. Dun -dun. Rosie struggles in, uh, to look at her daughter, but the binding prevents her. Rosie says, thank God. May says, yeah, thank you. Should I be saying the people when I, before I say them? Rosie to Miranda. Help us, please. Miranda leaves blackness, pitch blackness. May says, Mom, is it true? What he said? Rosie says, What did he tell you? May. That I'm his, his. Should I look to the left? <laughs> that I'm his. <gasps> a spotlight shines brightly in a purple velvet curtains. Doesn't tell. Oh, Tycor, don't, don't. Daughter. Ah! Tycor has revealed his face is painted with white makeup, eyes and lips lined. He stares at a woman and weaves his way towards them. 
Tiger Truth. He holds a box for them. Now, where's it going to continue? 114? Tycar walks up to May. This is the Tycar Chalet dungeon morning interior. Tycar opens the box and seductively, and seductively removes a heart, Chief Bramley's heart. Is that, his, is that the grandfather? It's their grandpa? Oh. He moves it toward, toward the terrified and repulsed girls. Rosie, John, he gives her a look. Rosie, Tycor. It's confusing you. Tycor points to his curtain. <laughs> Behold the door. Wait, oh, should, I, should I hold my bows there? Behold, a door standing open in heaven, and I heard a voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters. Cone out. Cone out? Did they have that typo? Come out? There's a lot of typos here. I don't know how to say all this. And cut. beautiful poly diamond ring in white gold and yellow gold together in this terrific patterning of almost think of a V shape up and down moves up and down across your finger big dome shape but but narrow not real wide doesn't extend out to where it takes up your whole finger so great pinky ring and I love the cut of this band it is so different very comfortable to wear this one just has a little more newness to it and a great price tag, and it's on value pay. This is tough to resist. And you know, we are in single digit availability in all sizes. I know that we do offer complimentary sizing uh, through the Ramsey's program, uh, maximum one size up or down from the original on this Pave piece. So if you do want it, we don't have your size or your quarter or half size. Don't fear, don't worry about it. You know, diamonds are the easiest thing to wear. Well, ever since we've been here in Tehachapi, three nights so far, I've had three very vivid dreams, and I never remember dreams, this is weird, and they've been all very, very bad dreams, very bad dreams. Uh, the first night it had something to do with Satan, uh, he was trying to get me to be one of his cronies, one of his helpers. The second night, what was the second night? I forget the second night already, but it was very bad that I remember. And then last night I had a dream that James Russo, the actor, he was in all his white makeup and get up that we shot last night. I was in the bathroom and he was trying to get in. I said, okay, I'm coming out. He came in and he was pissed that I was in there. So he came up behind me and he started pissing on me. And that was it. I, 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 that was the last straw for me. When an actor pisses on me, I leave a show. So I left. But it was just a very bad dream. And I think it has something to do with this film. Um, Jessica! Jessica! Yes! <laughs> it's time for her now. For the flesh. Lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness. Don't touch me. Charlie, please listen to me. Idolatry, sorcery, hatred, jealousies, incest. Mom, I don't understand. To the room. Hi. Hey, how's it going today? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> you like the movie business? Oh, yeah. You have to have You have to have I'm giving you permission. You have to have a free day. Move to Jenna. I'm giving you all the days you want. I'm giving you another two days. I, I can't, I can't, I'm about to work. This is beautiful. Yeah. I'm, what do you I'm, think I'm showing, David? I'm fucking showing this. This is what I'm showing. I turned it to get the fucking window. I am showing this. We got the I am dealing with this. You don't even see the shot. You don't even know the shot. Marcel, can you get me somebody to move the fucking generator, please? Thank you.
understand the chief of the police is can you wake him up from bad real life? Can you go see him outside? Safety meeting, let's go. Come on, Barry! Come on, quickly! Uh, plan in, the, the sequence that happens is that the helicopter will come flying overhead, coming this direction, it's going to be landing, oh, we're lucky, right there. We walk behind Michael Madsen and myself, ducking under the blades of the helicopter. Okay, good morning, good afternoon. My name is David Gibbs, I'm the aerial coordinator and pilot of the aircraft. Jeff Gordon is my ground safety coordinator. Based on our AD's description of the shots, we need to maintain a high state of flexibility because anything can and will go wrong, that's the mindset you should have. Ah, uh, family that kills together stays together. We had eight field guns out there. I went and told them specifically to call for the guns to be in. They didn't do it before we called lunch. Everybody scattered. We're missing. Uh, we got all the guns back, but we're missing a lot of belts and equipment. There's only half the people here. The producer himself just leaves an automatic. The producer and walks left off. one of those bull pump twelves in the bus. I had to run him down and ask him where it was. Uh, there's a federal, Burn holds a federal gun license. Yeah. And that's what's in danger here. I've been in the business 20 some plus years and I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. 
We've done shows with thousands of guns in them. We've done Last of the Mohegans. We've done Gettysburg. We've done, I did Rambo 3. Didn't lose a gun. You guys are out of here, huh? Don't mess with a man's gun. Unbelievable. Uh, no, the ones with the square, the squares in them are ours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, and that one. Yeah. 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 Exterior, private country road, day. All the cop cars have stopped in a line. Action! Interior, Buford's lab, day. Buford races to a closet door and takes out the heavy artillery. Action. Fuckers, get out of here, you're fucking worthless. Exterior, Buford's lab, day. J.P. Ford and Chief Bramley are behind the cover of a huge boulder. I don't see it. Huge boulder. The Chief gives commands to his men via walkie-talkie. Chief Bramley lifts up the bullhorn. And, and mark. Action! Mr. Mister Thomas. Back to first position, John and Walker. Keep rolling. Don't cut. Okay. Mr. Thomas Buford, this is Police Chief Bramley. You are surrounded. Action! Mr. Thomas Buford, this is Sheriff Bramley. You're surrounded. 
several bullets ricocheting off the boulder is his reply. Hold your firemen, hold your firemen. What the fuck do you want, man? Fire. Gotta shut you down, Tom. Manufacturing and selling drugs is illegal. What do you want with me? Go away! I gotta shut you down, Tom. The manufacturing and sale of drugs is illegal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's suddenly bothering you, huh? Chief Bramley, voiceover. It's over, Tom. Come out peacefully. Come along peacefully, Tom. Come out. Buford, did Tycor send you? You on his payroll, Chief? Who the fuck sent you, Tycor? You on his payroll, did he buy you that piece of shit car? Money doesn't buy me or my men. I, we don't, you can't buy me or my men, Tom. Just come out peacefully. Go away, come back tomorrow! God! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, shots ring out as Skinny comes diving out the window. Glass explodes out as Skinny scrambles on the ground. Skinny, don't fire, I give up. Don't shoot, man! Don't shoot, I give up! I give up! I give up. Ah. 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 Stay down, ah. stay down! Ah. Stay there! Stay back! Ah. Cover, cover! Ah. Fuck! Ah. Look here, look here again. Fire! Interior Buford's lab day. Buford hits the ground. Above him, holes appear as the bullets tear into the wall. End of scene. Actually, it goes on, but I guess we're not shooting that bit. Uh, 
off. What the fuck?